Today's show is brought to you by State Farm Agent Brian McDevitt. If you're a local small business owner, you know how important it is to be there for your customers. State Farm Agent Brian McDevitt runs a small business in Downers Grove, too, and he's here to help you protect your small business. Call Brian today at 630-796-2662. That's 630-796-2662. Or visit his website, brianismyagent.com. That's brianismyagent.com. And make sure to mention Sports Talk Chicago. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You know, it's so funny. Before the NBA season began, I remember, you do too, no one expected anything for the Bulls. Nothing. In fact, I hoped for another bad season. Not because I wanted Donovan to be fired or Trying to show us and Eversley did not work because I wanted the full rebuild experience. I wanted this team to tank. Get a number one pick. Draft the next prodigy. Build around him. And in three to four years, be a legitimate contender in the NBA. That's what I wanted. That was my vision. And I was confident that by bringing in some new blood, it would happen. But now as we sit here today, just a day before the NBA trade deadline, the Bulls are in a different position. One that no one saw coming, really. They're on the verge of a playoff spot. They'll get into the play-in game if the season ended today, and I'm confident that they still will. But the Bulls have a big question to ask themselves before this deadline. What are we playing for? What's our purpose for this season? If they can answer that, it'll answer what they should do at the deadline. But right now, the jury's still out. And that's the scary part. This team right now feels like it's in the middle and has nowhere to go. They feel similar to the Fred Hoiberg years right now. Obviously, more hope on the horizon. But they're 19 and 23 in the nine seed in the East. We all know today if they made the playoffs, they'd be a first round exit. Let's be honest. But they're not bad enough to qualify for a top pick. So, what are they supposed to do? How do they assess the rest of the season, the talent they have, and build for the future? It's a pretty big question. And usually, and I'll give the Bulls credit, and any GM credit, you shouldn't have an answer for this six or seven months on the job. I'll give Karnasovas and Embersley the benefit of the doubt. There is no reason. By six months in, you stare at the trade deadline and think, well, we have to go one of two ways. And if we screw this up, our whole tenure could be in jeopardy. So I do sympathize for their case. That said to me, I think there's a pretty obvious direction for this team. May not be popular, may not be what people want to hear, but the fact is, the Bulls aren't there yet. You could say they have great young talent. Patrick Williams and Zach Levine, Laurie Markinen, who we'll get to in a second, Kobe White, Wendell Carter. You could say all those guys are quality players. You could say they should be a part of the future. Fortunately, though, can't happen. Only a couple of them have shown they still deserve to be here. That's a fact. There are two players for the Bulls right now that I would definitely trade no matter what the case. If I'm Karnas Shobis and I get a phone call from a GM and they ask for Thad Young or Laurie Markkinen, I pull the trigger. I pull the trigger on Laurie Markkinen 
and or Thad Young. John, what are you talking about? Thad Young's been great. Great team leader. Career highs. Succeeding in Billy Donovan's system. Yeah, he's old. Not young, he's old. 32. Look, you won't find someone more proud than me of what he's done on this team. Great signing. I agree. Great piece off the bench, good depth. But can we please face the facts on Thad Young? I'm asking. You could sit here and praise his effort, praise what he's done this year. But we all know deep down, not a part of the future. In three years, 35-year-old Thad Young is not going to putter around on the court. Nor will he contribute to the future of this team. Not going to be a savior, isn't a savior. Good role player who succeeds in Billy Donovan's system. Great. Congratulations. Right up. There are rumors out there right now that the Bulls could get a first-round pick for Thad Young. Why in the world would you hesitate? I know fans are hesitating. Oh, I don't want to give them up. It's a business. So all of you who wonder, should the Bulls give up Thad Young? Should they trade marking it? I want to ask you this. Are you happy with where the Bulls are right now? Are you happy with a 19-23 and record? Or a 5 and 14 record against winning teams. Is this what you signed up for when the Bulls brought in Eversley and Karnashovis and Donovan? No, you didn't. You expected a championship, and you will get it in due time. But the Bulls need the right personnel to get there. Thad Young is not going to be here in three years producing at the same level he is today. So don't make the mistake of holding on to him. Let him go. If there are serious suitors for Thad Young, let him go. If the Bulls bring in a first-round pick for him, that's a heist. They won that trade easily. Same with marketing. It's been four years. There is nothing more we need to see. And I know his points are back up. But let's be honest. Jim Boylan broke him. I don't blame Markin and I blame the coach. He needs a change of scenery. He needs to go somewhere new because it's not working. I don't blame the guy, but it's not working. To go from Hoiberg to Boylan, now to Donovan. I can't even imagine being an NBA player as a rookie through four years to go through three head coaching changes and to be used in different ways each time. Oh, Boylan wants me to be a spot-up shooter. Touch and shoot. Oh, now Donovan wants me to do more. And I'm hurt all the time. It's a tough situation. I get it. But I think everybody would benefit. Both sides would benefit if he was gone. He's still young. He could be fixed. I would market him that way. Send him off to another team. Look, I think Laurie still has potential, but the fact is he's a top 10 pick. Year four in the NBA, and he's been stagnant and hurt. He was not the best player in that draft class.
And I do genuinely feel bad for the situation he's been in. Similar to Mitch, really. Different coaches, competition. Ari was hurt more. And he was broken. So I genuinely sympathize with his situation. But if the Bulls are being offered assets for Laurie, trade him. Let him go. There are many more opportunities to draft somebody just like him. Trust me, not that special. Not to the point where you'd give up draft picks. Where you'd say, no, we don't want anything, we want to keep them. Let them go. The Zach Levine trade crowd is gone. Understandably, he's done great. Max contract, that's a different story for a different day, but he's done good enough to not be traded. Pat Williams will not go anywhere either. Arturis will not trade away his first pick with the Bulls in his rookie year. They need more time. And he's had flashes. Good defender, 10 points a game. I'll take it, rookie year. Why not? But Lowry does need to go. Dad Young needs to go. Wendell, why not? Let him go. The Bulls should pursue a pattern when it comes to the deadline. And even moving forward when it comes to free agency and whether or not they want to pay anybody. Separate players from the Boylan and the Garpax era to the Karnaschovas and the Donovan era. Well, Carter Shelbis doesn't owe anything to anyone. That's a positive. Doesn't need to say, well, I, I need to keep him around because I drafted him. No, you didn't. You inherited every player on this team, essentially. So everybody's expendable. And if these guys don't fit your vision, go. Rate them. Release him. Don't pay him. Like in Markinen's case, wants an extension. An extension for what? What the hell have you done to, to deserve an extension? Nothing. If Gar Pax was still running the team, he'd get that extension. I know it. They drafted him. But not here. Garner Shobas could say, Laurie, you're a talented guy, but can't afford you. And we're not going to pay you. These are tough decisions. It's a business. But Bulls fans, remember this. Did you sign up for a season like this? I'm not saying they're doing bad, but did you sign up knowing this would be the pinnacle? No. You want a championship. You want to become a great contender again. And the fact is, this team isn't. There are nine seed. 19-23, can't beat good teams. Lots of guys, holdovers from the old regime, who haven't performed. That's a fact. And there's no pandering. Honest Shobas doesn't need to say... We need to keep him. I drafted him. I don't want to admit I'm wrong. He could just say, go. You're not a part of our future. Go. You're gone. I know none of you signed up for this. I know all of you want more. So if that's the case, don't be disappointed when Laurie Markin it is traded, or Thad Young goes. I don't understand that obsession, by the way. I really don't get it. I know he's been doing great. I get it. He's a depth player off the bench. The guy's old. He is not going to be a part of the future. Let him go. There are rumors that said the Bulls could fetch a first-round pick for Thad Young. Oh, my goodness. Trade him. 
That's a steal. What are we marking it? Top 10 pick, four years, stagnant, go. You're done. Only keep the guys where you see potential for growth. That's my philosophy. Do you see this guy growing? I love marking it, but he's been broken. He hasn't grown. He's been stagnant and hurt a lot. Let him go. I'd give Kobe White one more year. Wendell is on the verge for me, too. If there's no growth, if you don't see that as a part of your championship-winning team, they got to go. I know everybody has an emotional connection to some of these players. Believe me, I get it. But at the end of the day, you signed up for a championship. I remember how happy people were, how hopeful people were. Karnaschobis and Eversley came in and Gar Pax had finally ended after 17 years of misery. Don't settle. Don't revert to the old ways. There's a new regime, new opportunity, new possibility. Make it count. Lose the emotional connections here. At the end of the day, this regime should produce a championship. And if not a championship, at least an appearance. At least a finals appearance. And the fact is, everybody on this team right now, with the exception of very few, would be on that championship team. Very few players right now I could see still being here and still contributing. A lot of them have their big moments, but it's not enough to justify keeping them around. And at the end of the day, the Bulls are 19 and 23 for a reason. They have defined expectations, and I'm happy that they are where they are right now. That said, more needs to come. And nothing will happen if you just continue to keep the same roster. More to come here on Sports Talk Chicago. My interview with Doug Gottlieb comes up next, so stay tuned. Hey, do you want to make some money this weekend? What if I told you I could offer you $250 free dollars to bet on any game you want? Here's what you have to do. Go to sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash. Sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash. Must be 21 plus, must be an Illinois resident. You can bet $250 free on any game you want for this upcoming weekend. Oyola is still alive in the NCAA tournament. The Bulls are playing, even though the trade deadline's here, and the Blackhawks are doing well, and the NHL's in full swing. This is, without question, the best time to put down some money and win a whole lot more back. Go to sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash, sportstalkchicago.com backslash cash. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLING. 